guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to set up a workflow whenever you deleted a row in AppSheet, it delete as well the files or the images related to that row inside the google drive without using the app script as you know once you deleted the row for example i have, I have two two rows here and it saves in my Google Drive under AppSheet folder data and under the sample folder and sample images so I have two images here even though I will delete this the image file will be still there in Google Drive and in the long run it might cause storage storage issues right so we don't want to let that happen all right so as you can see I deleted these two rows or one rows already and I, I will delete one now I deleted the two rows and the image still in my Google Drive so I will show you how to do a workflow without using the app script that once you deleted the row it deletes as well the images or file inside your Google Drive so let's get started so first I'm going to delete this folder because I would like to have a customized folder wherein this particular table files or images I would like to save it in a specific folder inside my Google Drive so I would like to save it here so under still under still app sheet data under this and I would like to create a folder here so we don't create folders directly here so uh, we can also create the folders here and also we can create a folder pad inside the app sheet so let's try to do it in app sheet side so here this is a, an image type just click edit and under here there is an image file folder so i'm going to create let's say a folder name called image to so this is a sample folder so this is where I'm going to save the images of this table okay I and save and looking back to the going back to the Google Drive as you can see the folder still not there because it will just generate once there is a data added so let's try to add the data let's say a photo of Land Cruiser and a photo of let's say a Yaris and let's try to add three sample photo all right so we should have three sample photos now or three files inside the Google Drive so under this and as, as you can see the folder is automatically created here so we have three sample photos here so the next thing we're gonna do since we already customized the folder we're going to add a table in this example or in this case you have to use Google Drive documents and select here collection of files look for that folder that we added so here we need to look for this folder name image to delete so it's under app sheet data sample and and here we go just highlight that and select and create a table all right so it's uploaded in app sheet just view the columns to review so you don't need to do anything uh, just to make sure uh, so the key column here is the ID just to make sure that it allows delete and save then we need to create an action so go to the behavior create new action you can name this action as you like so in this example let's say delete image oops delete image okay so the target I mean the table but before we proceed for that let's make sure you hide that uh, you hide this 
All right, let's go back there. So here, the target table is wherein you execute the delete is in the sample table. Select execute an action and set to browse. The reference table will be the image to delete. Reference action will be delete. And here, we need to create an expression. So select. What are we going to select? We are going to select the image to delete. What is the key column there? Is the ID. So we're going to say, as you can see here, uh, the way the images save in the drive in this example, this is actually a unique ID. So this is an eight digit or eight characters, that image. So we're going to copy this or to, to make a concatenation formula that 67348790 that image so all you have to do is here id then contains you use the expression contains the file so the file okay concatenate what we're going to concatenate of course the id this row that ID in the sample table there is a key column ID here ID then that that image okay so this is the expression that we're going to use and then just hide that expression and save all right so then we need to trigger this action. So the way to trigger this action is the best to do is in the automation only. So let's create an automation, create a new boot. So this one, delete image. So configure the event. Then here when row is deleted, so select the table so the table is sample and make sure the data change type is set to deletes only and then custom step call an action so we already created an, an action so we we can call that action run data action then delete image and save all right, so now let's try to, to delete a row and see if this will be deleted as well. All right, so let's try to delete the RS. Delete. So there, there should be two images left in the Google Drive. We'll see. As you can see here, so we have two images here. Let's try if... It's delete the correct file as you can see all right let's try to delete the land cruiser and see if it's still there all right just give us all right so it's deleted as well and let's try to add another photo let's say this photo okay so it's added in the drive As you can see it's uh, not, not not this this one is added and let's try to delete this photo and see if it's also deleted in the drive all right as you can see the remaining one here is the Toyota Corolla let's delete all and there should be no images left in this folder All right, as you can see. All right, so that is how to set up a workflow without using the app script on how to delete the file or images inside the Google Drive when you deleted the row in AppSheet. If you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.